Hello fellow training people, today I'm gonna be talking about the effects of deaspartic acid on testosterone. Deaspartic acid has been marketed as a supplement for increasing testosterone. So there are all of these supposed reasons why deaspartic acid acts as a stimulant for testosterone. One of them being that it increases the releasing hormone from the hypothalamus and then this releasing hormone induces the release of luteinizing hormone from the pituitary gland which in turn signalizes your gonads to produce testosterone this one actually was the one that sold me on it and i bought some but as you can see here there are a bunch of other reasons as well the problem with this evidence is that the bulk of research has been conducted on animals and there are only four studies that have been conducted on humans which show controversial results. I've based this video on a research which contains three groups of resistance trained people. Group 1 has received no deaspartic acid, group 2 has received 3 grams of deaspartic acid and group 3 has received 6 grams of deaspartic acid on the daily. The research conclusion shows that groups 1 and 2 receiving no deaspartic acid and 3 grams of deaspartic acid showed no increase in testosterone levels while group 3 which has received 6 grams of deaspartic acid showed a decrease in testosterone levels basically what that tells you is that deaspartic acid is not effective in aiding testosterone production the supplement industry marketing in this direction is false and misleading please don't fall for the false claims research everything I will be making more videos on various related subjects so that we can stay informed together and supplement with only effective ingredients that are beneficial to our human biochemistry. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one. Peace.